Hello and thank you so much for joining me here on Toasted Checks. So today I'm going to be doing a review of a very special item so anyone who's a normal viewer can see it and be like, oh, <laughs> and that's why I'm doing a review. The item is the Russian piglet. Ah! Okay, so those of you who don't know, let me be the first to introduce you to the world's cutest stuffed animal. Mm -hmm. This is Princess Peony. I nicknamed her Princess Peony Kure Mint. Because I'm Michelle Mint. I'm Mizzy for short. I've been trying on the nickname Macadamia, and if that catches on, that would be fantastic. But, these are her ears. So, the world's most adorable doll is extremely expensive. Um, it's a Russian doll. Um, they come with the letters of, like, a little authenticity booklet. Which I still haven't taken off because I'm just like, ah! The fur is, like, imitation mink fur. And the very likeness of the bunny is copyright. See, they have the cutest eyes, these little lashes, and I will say the fur is so soft. Oh my god. Okay, so one of the things about these dolls, they're all handmade, of course, and they are very limited. Some of them, there is only one, and it's like $2,500. Yes, that's why this review is here. <laughs> This one was my anniversary present for our one year anniversary. I got my partner um, a set of Nordic battle axes, which they nicknamed Thoughts and Prayers. And then they got me my bunny and I love her so much. Oh my gosh. So they're posable. She was $250 and then it was $50 shipping from Russia. So they're posable. She can sit on her own and she can stand on her own and I have tried it. She has a cute little tail. Still have it tied on. Uh, this can be a necklace or a tiara, but I wanted it to be a tiara. Um, the ears have Swarovski crystals. I don't know how to say it. Um, one bunny can have up to 7,500 uh, 7, crystals. Um, I don't know how many she has, but she is one of 21. Um, she is already sold out. And so that means there will never be another one of her again. They have made all that they're going to make. That's what makes them so special. So you see her crystals on her paws. And she's very, very soft. I will state that her, it's her left arm, uh, had a little bit of this stuffing coming out of the seam. And it is very dense. If you get one, it is stuffed. Like, it's not like going to build a bear and seeing if the stuffing machine is like like you put it in and you stuff them with fluff until you're ready no they are stints and i think that's very important to mark um so the ears are super floppy bunny ears you can see and they're attached on the head and it's very very good quality and for after shipping 300 dollars, they ought to be <laughs> So here's her pretty little ears. I like to show them off. Her nose is sparkly and like kind of shiny. You can't really see the sparkles, but there are sparkles in it. You can see her seams and the, the buttons are my favorite. They're heart-shaped buttons. And so they're just kind of on. Uh, she didn't come with any clothes because she, would, well, I could add clothes, but it would be more expensive. And her box was another like $50. And I'm like, I'm good. I got the bag. Yeah, so I am going to show um, how they fit, how she fits in a uh, Build-A-Bear outfit, because that might be what I um, alter for her to fit in. All right, I'll show you in her in that in one second. <laughs> and we're back. So I put on um, what is just a tank top from Build-A-Bear, just their regular size tank top. Um, it belongs to my favorite or not my favorite my most uh, adventurous companion uh miss snuggle i love you i love you 
um, who is actually wearing a Build-A-Bear tank top, and I believe it's a three, two, no, this is a preemie, okay, um, a preemie little baby, uh, skort, because, fun fact, Build-A-Bears can wear preemies, um, depending on the, uh, store, you can also put them in, I believe it's a three to six month. Yeah, so this is a zero to three months, and it fits like a three to six months, which means it fits a Build-A-Bear. So, I do believe that Miss Peony can wear, um, I can either take in a top or let it be baggy on her, and she can wear a um, shirt as a dress, or I can get her a preemie or zero to three month dress for uh infants and that will fit her so i'm going to try on the zero to three months dress on her i'm um, show you guys how that looks okay one second <laughs> all right so this is a zero to three month dress get your fluffy ears uh zero to three month dress so you can see it's a little baggy on her but overall it fits and in the back where the buttons of the dress are it uh, fits around her tail and I think that's a really cute look. I think she could actually pull this dress off really well It was Mrs. Snuggles, but Miss Snuggles typically wears this yeah. But yeah, so I'm just showing this off because the clothes were so expensive that I wanted to show her how they fit in other clothes um, I will be trying her a preemie dress to see if I can get her like one of them really pretty sparkly princess dresses. But I do like this one on her. Um, yeah, so my overall review of the dolls that are very, very expensive is I love her so much. Like you can see the detail of like a little blush on her cheeks. I can see a touch of it here. And then you have her pretty little crown, which came around her neck. Um, but it's definitely a crown. Um, I'm sure it could be a necklace, but it looks so much better as a crown. And you see, completely poseable. And just very dense and well made. I'm just in love with how soft she is and I'm so happy. I'm probably going to try and make her a dress, maybe a little kimono. Um, she's got this like Sakura kind of thing going on. Um, but overall, I absolutely adore her and her little, the little mouth where her little chin is. So this is just a review of the Russian piglet doll. If you have never heard of them, Please feel free to want them for as long as I have, which has been many years. I think I've um, discovered them, like, for sure, like, within two to three years. And I've wanted to see them. Like, I've wanted to have them. But they're so expensive. So, the best anniversary gift ever. <laughs> Alright, I hope you enjoyed this review. And if you didn't, just let me know below. Alright, bye you guys. <laughs>